Hi, welcome back to Kaka's Kitchen. If you've been here before, thanks for stopping by again. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm Kaku and this is my kitchen. Okay, today's recipe, like all other recipes that I bring to you on this channel, is super yummy. And this one is also very easy, very straightforward. And I'm talking about chicken teriyaki rice. I like to make this recipe on weekdays because it's something that you can just throw together in less than an hour and it keeps going and you can keep eating it for several days and it's also really protein rich so it will keep you full for long so if you want to see how i make chicken teriyaki rice then keep watching and i'll catch you at the end of the clip what you'll need is some chicken rice teriyaki sauce some mixed vegetables two eggs and some butter to start off, I usually just boil my rice like I would boil rice normally and that just involves um, letting the rice simmer with some salt and butter in it for about a half hour. For the chicken, once I've cleaned them up, I put them in a pan and cook them on medium to high heat for, for a while and the amount of time that it will cook for will depend on the size of the chicken. And once they've cooked for a while, I go ahead and move them around in the pan so that the chicken is cooked evenly on all sides. And just let it cook for a while once it's a nice golden brown color on the one side i go ahead and flip the chicken and it's important to flip the chicken only once during the cooking process and while it's cooked on the other side i check and make sure it's also a golden brown color i i then transfer it from the pan to a chopping board and go ahead to cut it across the grain so you need to look and see where the grain is and then make sure it's cut um, across it I go ahead and cut all of the chicken into bite-sized chunks and do this for all of the diff all of the chicken breasts in the pan. And once that is done, right away I add in half of the teriyaki sauce. And once the teriyaki sauce is added in, I turn the heat up to pretty much high heat, very close to the highest heat level. And because of the high heat, you need to keep stirring consistently so that it doesn't burn. And as you're stirring, as, as it's cooking, you'll notice that the teriyaki sauce starts to caramelize. And it's important to keep scraping all of this off because that's the really good stuff in the meal. And so scrape it off consistently and just scrape it off and then let it cook for a bit and then scrape it off. On another stove, I go ahead and scramble the eggs that will go into the, into the teriyaki rice. And so keeping an eye on the scrambled eggs and on the chicken that's being cooked on high heat. I keep stirring that and scraping all of the caramelized teriyaki sauce. And after, after about three, four minutes, I go ahead and add in the frozen vegetables. And once I add those in, then I add in half of the remaining teriyaki sauce and it's still on high heat. And so I just keep stirring the vegetables in and let them cook. And because they're frozen, they should cook in three to four minutes just kind of keep an eye on it to see how how they turn out and at this point you can actually just go ahead and add in the rest of the teriyaki sauce and the eggs and serve it over rice but i choose to add my rice in so i make a make a space in the center of the pot add in the boiled rice and then add the rest of the teriyaki sauce in and then stir all of that in and I like to do it this way because that this way the rice is kind of a little bit fried with the teriyaki sauce in so it gives it a different flavor and stir that in consistently and once it's all stirred in then add in the eggs and pretty much at this point the food is good to go it's a really easy very quick recipe to get done so there you have it like I promised, it's a really easy, really straightforward recipe and it's super yummy. And it's also really, really protein rich because you have protein from the chicken and from the eggs. And actually the vegetable mix that I used has um, edamame in there. So you have three protein sources in one dish. That will keep you full for a long, long time. Okay, before I go, I've got two hints for you for this recipe. And the first thing is, with the chicken, you know how I went ahead and just put in the whole chicken breast in there? You don't necessarily have to put in the whole chicken breast, cook it before you cut it up. 
you can actually cut the chicken up whatever type of chicken you, you choose to use if it's the breast if it's the thigh if it's some other part of the chicken you can just cut it up into in, um, inch size cubes I'd say about inch inch and a half and then cook it and that way it would actually cook faster so your meal would cook you'd have your meal ready in a pretty much shorter time than it takes to cook a whole chicken breast like I did with the recipe I just like to do it this way because I feel like it kind of keeps the the meat the chicken more juicy as opposed to cutting it up and you know just cooking it over the fire but that's just my personal preference second thing I want to point out is with the utensils I used to cook and I've got some props with me here today so you noticed how after I put the chicken back into the pot and put some teriyaki sauce in there I had it on really high heat so it could actually like you could get the teriyaki sauce kind of a little bit burnt and, you ha and I had to keep scraping the teriyaki sauce off of the bottom of the pot it's usually better easier to do that with a spoon that has a flat head kind of like this as opposed to a spoon that has more of a rounded edge like this one so this is just to make um, cooking easier for you so if you have this then definitely go for something like this or a spatula or something to help you just scrape all of the dredges from the bottom of the pot but if you don't you can also use this I mean it's not going to make your food less less yummy it's just if you have this this tool will make your work or the cooking process a lot easier for you so those are the two things I had to point out about the recipe that I just showed you for the chicken teriyaki rice and I hope you enjoy making it and when you do make it definitely tag me on Instagram and let you let me know how it turned out for you and how much you liked it because I like it and all of all of the dishes I bring to you on this channel are really really yummy so tag me on Instagram and let me know how much you like it and leave me a comment below I like to hear from you and I like to hear requests from you requests from you on what kind of dishes you'd like me to make I already have a couple requests that I'll be that I'm working on and so if you want to see what those requests are and how how they turn out then definitely come back again sometime soon and we'll see what it is that I make